First, obviously, we assess the measurement model to assess the quality criteria of our constructs. Once the quality criteria is established, the next step is your structural model. Once you have confirmed that the measurement of constructs is reliable and valid, the next step addresses the assessment of structural model results. Now, figure shows a systematic approach of structural model assessment. Here is your figure. Now, here are the steps that we are going to take. Step one, we assess the collinearity issues in structural model. Step two, we assess the significance and relevance of structural model relationship. Step three, we assess the model explanatory power. In the first step, you need to examine the structural model for potentially collinearity issues. Now, why is this your step one? The reason is that the estimation path coefficients in the structural model are based on ordinary least squares. Regression of each endogenous construct on its corresponding predictor constructs. Now, the path coefficient might be biased if the estimation involves high levels of collinearity among predictor constructs. Now, if there is high collinearity among predictor constructs, then your path coefficients may be biased. So, you should assess the collinearity of your constructs. Once you have ensured the collinearity is not a problem, you will evaluate the significance and relevance of structural model relationship that is path coefficients. So you will assess whether or not the relationship between different constructs is significant or not. Step 3 and 4 of the procedure involve examining the model's explanatory and predictive power. And finally, we've got model comparisons. 